If one of your goals is being able to read music more fluently and learn new pieces faster on the harp, you probably are already aware of the importance of practicing reading music away from your pieces. And if you're wondering which books could help you with that, today I will show you some of my favorite resources to practice reading music and sight reading. You may already know the basics of reading music, are familiar with different time values and time signatures, and can recognize the notes around both staves, even slowly. Perhaps you've completed my online course, Reading Music for Harp, and you're looking for ways to progress from there and practice the skills you've learned. It may be that you're quite advanced when it comes to the technical side of playing the harp, and that you can play some rather complex pieces. It's just that this first stage, when you need to work out the notes, still takes rather long, and you often end up memorizing what you've learned quickly, and then you don't really get to practice reading music as much as you would need to. And because of that, this first stage still takes a lot of time when you get to the next piece. The answer to that problem is finding music that is a lot simpler to read and to play, where you get fewer notes, simpler rhythms, fewer technical challenges and less complex fingering. Basically, resources where you get to focus on reading the notes, without worrying too much about all other challenges. Of course, you likely have a few beginner books, but perhaps you've already played most of the easy pieces there, and maybe you really feel that you need something that puts focus specifically on reading music, and that won't take ages to work through. If that's what you're looking for, I think you'll really like the books I'll show you today. Here's the first one. The A to G of Sight Reading for Harp by Harriet Eddy is a series I recommend to everyone, but especially to those of you who learn to play the harp on your own and need a resource that would provide some extra guidance. Here I will be talking mostly about the first book of the series, the pre-grade one, as I feel it is the perfect choice for players who'd love more materials dedicated to some very basic practice of reading music and sight reading. What I love about this book is how gently and gradually it guides you through different skills that you need to practice and that it allows you to focus on one thing at a time. So the first few pages are all about rhythm and you can get really confident with different time signatures and counting before you even play anything on the harp. As you move on to practicing with the harp, you reinforce what you've learned about the rhythm previously while playing only one string at a time. So as you keep practicing the rhythm, you can still keep your attention there while not having to worry too much about locating all the different strings on the harp, but at the same time you still get to read the notes, one at a time. Then you work through getting familiar with different patterns, again, one at a time. You learn about looking ahead, marking the music, playing some very basic chords and reading the most common dynamics and tempo markings. You also get some short excerpts along with questions to answer to show you what kind of hints, patterns and other information you should look for in a score in order to play the music more fluently. To sum up, this book helps you revise the fundamentals of reading music and it will be also a perfect introduction to sight reading. It's available as a digital download, which is great, so I'll put a link for you in the description of this video. Now that we've mentioned sight reading, you may be wondering what's the difference between sight reading and reading music, so I'd like to take a moment to briefly explain the main difference. Reading music is a more general term, and if you're new to the harp and this is the first instrument you will be learning to play, you will likely need to learn to read music. This includes learning to recognize the notes and time values and getting familiar with the relationship of these symbols to the harp strings. Sight reading is a very specific type of reading music, where you look at a piece and you play it all through right away without previous practice. When you do this, you play straight away in the correct rhythm with the dynamics, reading and implementing all the markings that you see in the score as you go along. If you'd like to learn more about the difference between the two and learn which one you should work on right now, as well as why you should practice sight reading at all in the first place, make sure to check out one of my previous episodes where we looked into this in more detail. The next book I'd like to recommend is Sight Reading, Grade 1 by Fiona Clifton Welker, which is a set of sight reading exercises for the harp. Although the purpose of this book is to practice sight reading in the traditional sense of playing exercises through without stopping, I sometimes use it in the lessons as a resource for some gentle practice in reading music too. Because all exercises are very short, usually about two lines, and on this level are rather simple, it is definitely a good book to use when you've got a few minutes to spare and would like to use it to practice reading music and maybe work on one of the exercises. 
As I said, this book is a set of exercises for sight reading, as if you were doing it in a music exam or when practicing with a teacher during a lesson. Therefore, you won't find much guidance when it comes to rhythm, counting or reading patterns. This also means that you need to be quite confident and independent about how you want to work on it and perhaps also quite creative, especially if you're learning on your own. So if you're looking for a resource that would give you some extra guidance, I would start with the previous book first and then use this one to supplement Supplement your practice with some more exercises. Because I know that so many harpists aiming to get better at reading music find playing in the correct rhythm challenging, the next book I'd like to recommend today is all about that, the rhythm. This book, Flip the Rhythm by Sheila Nelson, could be described as a set of sight reading exercises, but without any notes to play, only the rhythm. Also, earlier I said the book, but it's actually two books. When you flip book one to the other side, you will get to book two. And this is all because of the way it has been designed. When you open the book on any page, you get to see two lines. I usually ask my students to read them just the way they would do on the harp. Top line for the right hand, bottom line for the left hand. Usually, we put the harp away and do the exercises by tapping the rhythm of each hand on our lap, but you can get really creative here and use your feet, add clapping, counting out loud, or even come up with some notes and play the exercises on the harp. As you can see, the rhythm on this first page is rather straightforward, but if we'd like to make it just a little bit more challenging, we can flip the left hand rhythm to find something more demanding, while keeping the right hand the same. And likewise, we can also flip the right hand and mix it up with different combinations of the left hand. And when you look to the other side, you will see some of the patterns being written upside down. This is because this is the second part of the book. Remember how we flipped it at the beginning? That's where you find all the other exercises. The book contains 144 different exercises, but because of the way it's been designed, this gives you over 5,000 different combinations. Plenty to play around with. If you'd like more tips about reading music, make sure you check out my other videos. I will also put links to some more resources in the description underneath this video. Now, let me know in the comments, what was your journey so far with reading music? Will you try any of these books? Make sure to subscribe to get notified about future episodes and leave a like if you enjoyed this episode of the Coffee Break Harp. I will see you here very soon. Take care for now. Bye!